This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. Our whole USA is in a messed up state that nearly 300 million people have ideas that parted. Wait, the left became too cool, conservatives all seem to drool, see, and we all just act like fools, we built a war. We killed the terrorists, gays, jobs, economy, dead fetuses, who's bombing me, it's all starting Alex Bennett program. Bazinga. Let's all sing. Hey, everybody. How are you? Here I am. I'm Alex, and I'll be here until midnight Eastern um, Daylight Time. Let's make sure we're let's make sure we're doing okay here. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just uh, uh, check my various uh, output sources here and make sure that we're. Uh, we're going out. You know, I do everything here. I'm the bottle washer, right? Uh, I'm a, a chief uh, bottle washer. Bottle rocket washer. Anyway, where, where are we? Hold on a second. I got I to gotta redo this. Come on. Jeez. There we go. Um, yeah, and I got to start that up. Okay, and we're going there. And uh, I just got to check the other place here and make sure we're going here. Um uh, where, wait a minute, what happened here? This is not right. What is this? Memories, my entire life story. What, what is this? What did, what did, they, what did, they, what did, they, what did it do? Is that, um, here, let me just do this. There we go. Okay. What, what? I don't even see any video. Uh, I know what the problem is here. Hold on. Hello, everybody. How are you? See? This is what I have to do. This is, this is, everything goes wrong, goes wrong. Okay, I'm fine now. All right. I forgot, I forgot to make sure we were all set up and online and everything like that. So please bear with me because I'm running this whole thing. I mean, I'm running the video, you know, you saw that opening that I did tonight. I ran that. I was so interested in doing that, I forgot to see if we actually had a signal going out okay. But we do. We have a great signal going out. And we thank you for that. Uh, let me see here. I want to do one last thing to make sure that we don't get all get all kind of sounds uh, coming back at us. Are we okay? Yeah, we're fine. All right, we're ready to go now. You can all leave. Anyway, uh, hey, uh, first of all, I want to talk about uh, about Damien. They were talking about. I think I caught kind of out of the side of my ear that they were talking about forms of communication. Okay, and uh, you know that the England they're going to give everybody at least uh, ten megabytes per second or something internet, which is you know it's it's robust enough so that you can watch a few things. Uh, and and then they were talking about the various things like DSL, which I remember I had DSL, uh, and I also had DSL was. Um, if I remember correctly, it was two telephone lines. You had to get two telephone lines coming in, and then they combined into one, and you got like 80 megabits per second. That's, that's what I seem to remember it as being. But that was a long time ago, back in the ancient times. You get more throughput on your phone than you did on uh, DSL in those days. And then I remember where I, we were doing, uh, we were doing uh, 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 what do you call it, um, uh, Play TV. And I did a TV show every day out of my home, and uh, which we turned into a studio. And uh, in fact, I had two apartments. One was where I lived, and the other one was where we had the studio and the office. And um, I, we put in a line there that got 1,000 megabits per second. We were living large. We were sending out a 300 megabit per second signal to those people, those rare people who could get it. And then we had another one, at like, I don't know, 35 megabits per second or something like that for all the rest of the world who had dial-up. Okay, Remember that? You know who still has dial-up? My friend Larry Bubbles Brown still has dial-up. No, I'm not kidding you. I'm telling you the honest-to-God truth. He still has dial-up. He says, and he, you know, I'm going to assume that he's right, okay? He says that there are 50,000 people in San Francisco who still have dial-up, 
Okay, so I that's where you you dial uh, on your phone and it goes. Wee, ah, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. So th that's uh, th th that's uh, you know one of the things we had to deal with in those days. But they were talking about well, what what what, did, what was before that? Well, they said Alex would know because Alex is the old fart, right? He'd know what happened before then. Well, before then, we didn't have the Internet, so forget it. I mean, I had the dial-up, you know, where you got that horrible sound. Uh, did that imitation again. Uh, but anyway, that's, that. you know, you had that. And then, uh, but before that, we had telephones, okay? And we didn't have any Internet. And we didn't have any computers. I The first computer I ever owned was, what was it? I know what it was. It was an Atari 400. And then when I, I liked it so much, I got an Atari 800. Um, and you can laugh and say, oh, an Atari is a computer, but the Atari 800 was a computer. It was a game machine, and it was a computer. And uh, when that company started having problems, a lot of those people left there and went over and started the Amiga, which is maybe to this day, in my opinion, for its time, the best computer ever created. Uh, it was the future of computing, okay? Great visual computer. You could do video on it, everything. It was wonderful. But anyway, I digress. Before all of that, we just had telephones, okay? And um, uh, when I had a telephone, you just, you had a telephone, you had a telephone number, and you picked up the phone and you called people. And if you called California, like I lived in New York, if I called California, I think it was like, a dollar twenty a minute or something like that. Today you don't even say well, how much does it cost to call California. It doesn't cost a penny. It costs whatever your bill is normally. You have all of this. It goes everywhere. There's no long. You never ask what are the long distance charges anymore, because there aren't any long distance charges. So anyway, uh, I. Um, uh, I did, I, I did the long distance, I, I did, I, we had the telephones, right? And now they were talking about, hey, I remember when there were party lines. Now what happened in the early days of telephones is you could get, I think, a single line, okay? But you had to pay a premium for it. So if you wanted to be on the same bandwidth as other people, you got a thing with a party line. So it would go something like this. You go over, you want to make a call, you want to, want to call my friend Roy. I pick up the phone, and there's somebody talking on it. So i got to hang up. And i got to wait till that person relinquishes the line so that I can then call. So and maybe on that party line, you had maybe, luck, if you were lucky, there was only one other person on your party line. But as they said, you can get upwards, I think you got upwards to eight people on a party line. So that was no real, you know, big joy. Uh, but that was that was that was pretty much the communications of the time. And before that, I don't remember. I was a baby, and I was in swaddling clothes. And um, I know that when we got a long distance call, uh, we were somewhat petrified uh, because it usually was bad news. It's your aunt calling from New York. So and so died. You know. Uh, nobody ever called anybody. You wrote letters. You, you wrote them with hand. You didn't have a computer to write them with, with uh, being able to correct the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the spelling and all of that. No, you, you had to write it out by longhand, which, by the way, I can't write longhand anymore. It's been so long since I had to write longhand that now my, my signature is blah, blah, blah. Can't even read it. Uh, and if I try to write in script, sometimes I forget, how do you make an N? How do you make a T? You know, I mean, I can, I can do it, I guess. Let me see here. Let me just try writing Bennett. And you'll, you'll see how terrible it comes out. Okay, B-E-N-N-E-T-T. -N -N -E -T. Look at, and now I'm going to show you. Look at that. How, how terrible is that? Okay. Now, I used to have a better script than that. I could, I could flow a little bit, but I can't. Uh, uh, and, and if I want to write my last name, you know, I mean, I can do Alex. Let me see if I do Alex. There we go. Is that a little better? Yeah. But 
I just find that I can't write anymore. I can, I can print, but sometimes they can't print well. Because, uh, you know, when, when you, uh, how many of you out there have, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, have, uh, uh, wait a minute, what happened to this? Oh, I don't know what happened to that. Let me just, oh, we're having all kinds of little problems tonight. There we go. All right. Anyway, um, excuse me. See, I have to pay attention to certain things, okay? So excuse me. Um, when I, um, um, when you uh, have like, a, oh, a, like a Roku or an Apple TV and you want to put uh, something online, um, hey, Alex, nothing on Facebook. Yes, Mike, there is there is stuff on Facebook, okay? I'm looking at my Facebook, and there is a uh, uh, a thing, okay, Mike? So everybody else is getting it, just not you, Mike. Anyway, where was I? Jesus. Mike, quit bothering me. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, um, oh, yeah. So you got the, you've got... Uh, You've got these uh, things like you want to use HBO, and then it says, well, go in, go and go to HBO forward slash activate, and then put in this number. And so I've got a TV set in that room, and I got the computer in here, so I got to write it down, and uh, sometimes I, I write them badly. This is, happens to be a good one that I did, but uh, I, sometimes I, I write it, and I, is that a two or an S? You know? <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah. So I, get used to it, folks. As you get older, you can't write, all right? That's it. That's the way it goes. Anyway, uh, let me see here. So anyway, that, that's my history with phones, uh, for all that matters to you, uh, um, um, Damien. I hope you don't think I'm that old and old, old a fart. Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. I want to turn on the fan. Oh, boy. You know, last night everything went wrong. Oh, yeah, so I was going to say, I was going to bring it all around uh, to, to this. Uh, so now I have about a gigabyte up and a gigabyte down on my modem here. I've got Fios. I've got the fastest pipe you can have in your home. All right? And you say, hey, you went from that <laughs> thing uh, to, uh, you know, the, the uh, 80 gigabytes, megabytes per second to the, uh, you know, to the uh, slower bandwidth of, a, uh, of, of uh, uh, the present day. And, and then all of a sudden, I've got this one gigabyte up and one gigabyte down. And you know what happened? Last night, about 10 minutes of uh, 12 o'clock, I was back living in 1945. I didn't have anything because the Internet went out, because Fios went out. Because it disappeared. It just went somewhere. And all of a sudden, on my, on, my, on my Skype, everybody froze. And uh, I had no signal. And we didn't have a signal till about, oh, I don't know, 1230 or something like that. So if you want to see it happen, just look at yesterday's video. And you'll see at the very end, you'll see what happened. But we, we still were recording it. So, you know, it, so you can see what, what went on. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I had to figure it out. So, you know, so for all the speed and all the Internet and all of that and how wonderful it is and how terrific it is, it's got a problem. It's got a problem. Uh, gee, we only have, we have a very low amount of people watching tonight. Uh, are, you, are you all getting yet? So Brian A. Neary says Facebook is good. Uh, so... Uh, if you're getting it okay, go on and just write a little note saying it's okay. Or give me a smiley face if you're getting the picture right now. Um, but it's, it's low. we have a low number tonight, and the number's usually more than that. So I worry about, uh, about that being a problem. Let me, uh, let me mention a few things here to you um, that I think you'll find kind of interesting. CNN has achieved a number. Everybody's going thumbs up. A number of, uh, of ratings milestones in 2017, but the most impressive one of all contained in an announcement Tuesday from the cable channel is that the network posted its highest ratings on record in total day, both in the key news demos of adults 25 to 54 and total viewers. 
In prime time, CNN is second most watched uh, year since 2008, both in the 25 to 54 demo and in total viewers. CNN will close out 2007, ranking number seven of all cable in total day viewers. Now, you've got to realize there are a lot of other things there that besides news, you know. Uh, you've got Lifetime. Who the fuck watches Lifetime? Will you tell me, when's the last time you ever watched Lifetime? And do you know that they get the most money from cable companies for their service? Yeah. I mean, something like, I know, $5 of your cable bill goes to, the, to, to them. I, if they got rid of Lifetime tomorrow, I wouldn't know it was off. Uh, I mean, uh, Fios took off Bloomberg here in New York, and I miss that. Anyway, the network also had the second largest share of cable news audience since 2001 among adults 25, 54, and since 2009, total viewers 23%. So uh, congratulations to CNN. I didn't know they were doing that well because I still don't watch them. Uh, I used to. Years ago, I used to watch them because they were the news network, you know. When Turner had it, it was a class outfit. It was a real class outfit. Um, Jeffrey Stein says we're okay on Facebook, and uh, Rin Lamu says it's, uh, it's good. And uh, let me see here. Uh, anybody else say it was okay, uh, the picture? Yeah, uh, uh, somebody else, Jennifer Clark, say getting it. Gleason here, James Edward Gleason. So everybody's getting it, but you, Mike, apparently you have low bandwidth. Anyway. Um, hey, guess who has cancer? You know, I love starting. Isn't that a nice way to start off a story? Guess who has cancer? No, not me. No. Uh, popular actor was talking about his life being impacted by his battle with cancer. In an interview with a Hollywood reporter, Val Kilmer says his struggle with the disease has taken its toll. Kilmer, 57. He's only 57. He's going through this shit. Was joined by his children for an interview in his home in Brentwood, California. Kilmer is not the screen god he was in the 80s and 90s films like Top Gun, The Doors, Batman Forever. A two-year battle with throat cancer has taken its toll, and a procedure on his trachea has reduced his voice to a rasp and rendered him short of breath. Kilmer has undergone chemotherapy, credits his faith as a Christian scientist with helping him deal with his health crisis. Now, that's interesting. He's a, if you're a Christian scientist, you don't go to a doctor. You don't have your trachea removed. I don't know what the story is. Anyway, uh, it, 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 he's not well, okay? And uh, if you wondered what happened to Val Kilmer, because occasionally you'll see Val Kilmer somewhere on some news item. You go, what the fuck happened to him? Well, what the fuck happened to him is he's got cancer. Hey, there, here's a story that uh, you, you, you probably weren't sitting around waiting for the result of. A judge in Los Angeles has dismissed a lawsuit that was one of the last major claims against Michael Jackson Holdings. The AP reports that a judge threw out the suit filed by choreographer who alleged the singer molested him as a child. So thank God, you know, all the, those charges against Michael Jackson have been dismissed. I'll be a son of a bitch. Now, let me tell you something here. And I, this, is, this pisses me off, all right? Uh, this really pisses me off. Uh, and it pisses me off for a very distinct reason. Uh, you know, we have a tendency to just get too politically correct. I think if we have a problem in this country, it's this political correctness. And the current form of political correctness, okay, is this whole Me Too bullshit. Now, I'm calling it bullshit because when it started, it was a, you know, it was well needed. And now it has just taken a disgusting, vile turn, okay, to where Me Too to me kind of means McCarthyism. It means witch hunting. It means a acting like an idiot at times. And this one really has it. The Me Too people, or some of them who call themselves Me Too, are now going off, uh, 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 off on a song by Sal Lesser. He was a, a composer back in the, uh, in the 40s who wrote a lot of movie scores, including, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Neptune's Daughter with um, Fernando Lamas and uh, Esther Williams. And uh, I'm not even reading that. I just pick, pick that out of my brain. And in the movie, Red Skelton, and I'm trying to remember the other actor, the actress, uh, sing a song. 
which is very famous and gets played this time of year because it's still kind of one of those evergreens that kind of you think of as a Christmas song, but it really isn't. And it's called Baby, It's Cold Outside. Now, I want you to, I'm going to read the lyrics. Part of the reason I'm reading the lyrics is they seem to make more sense if I read them than if I played the music. And secondly, I can't play the music because I don't have the rights to play it. So I will read it. And in case anybody out there wants to sue me or whatever, I'm reading it because I'm about to make comment on it. Here are the lyrics. Two people singing back and forth. So, you know, I'll try and do it so that you can understand it. It goes, the lyrics go, I really can't stay. And then the other person goes, but baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. It's the woman singing. But baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been... Been hoping you drop in. So very nice. And then he says, I'll hold your hand. They're just like ice. My Now my mother would start to worry. Beautiful, what's your hurry? My father will be pacing the floor. Listen to the fireplace roar. So really, I better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Well, maybe uh, just a half a drink more. Put some records while I pour on while I pour. Uh, believe me, I'm not trying to sing this thing. The neighbors might think, "Baby, it's bad out there." Okay, is that better? Say what? What? Say what's in this drink? No cabs to be had out there. I seem to be in. Your R's are like starlight now. I. Some crazy spell, I'll take your hat, and your hair looks swell. I can't, I'm not doing this. I just should read it, right? Forget about trying to sing it. I ought to say, no, no, sir. Mind if I move in closer? At least I'm going to say that I tried. What's the sense of hurting my pride? I really can't stay. Baby, don't hold out. Baby, it's cold outside. Both of them sing that. I simply must go, baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no, baby, it's cold outside. Welcome, the welcome has been. How lucky you dropped in and so nice and warm. Look out the window at the storm. Okay, guess what some of the Me Tours are saying. This is all, this song is about date rape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you got the, the message because I'm such a bad singer at this thing. I mean, I can sing, but this is kind of a hard song to do. It's a duet between two people. The part they bo they're bothered by, one of them is, um, well, just, she says, well, just a half a drink more. Put some records on while I pour. The neighbors might think, baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in this drink? No cabs to be had out there. What's in this drink? Like he spiked the drink with a roofie. Now, uh, roofies had not been invented by that time, by the way. Uh, so I went to Snopes, and Snopes had an article there. And here are a couple of the points they make. It said, at the time the song was written, good girls, especially young unmarried girls, did not spend the night in a man's house unsupervised. The tension of the song comes from her own desire to stay and the society's expectations that she'll go. And we see this in the organization of the song, from stopping by for a visit to deciding to push the line by staying longer to wanting to spend the entire night, which is really pushing the bounds of acceptability. Her bow in this repeated refrain, baby, it's cold outside, is offering her the excuses she needs to stay without guilt, okay? Later in the song, she asks him for a comb to fix her hair and mention that they're going to be there's going to be talk tomorrow. This is a song about sex, wanting it, having it, maybe having a long night of it by the fire. But it's not a song about rape. It's a song about the desires even good girls have. All right, you getting this? So let's talk about that drink. They've discussed solely looking at the lyrics of the song and to its internal universe so far. But I think that the line, say what's in this drink, needs to be explained in the broader context and to refute the idea that he spiked her drink. Say what's in this drink, well, is a well-used phrase that was common in movies of, the time, of that p time period and isn't really used in the same manner any longer. The phrase generally referred to someone saying or doing something that they thought 
They wouldn't in normal circumstances. It's a nod to the idea that alcohol is making them do something unusual, but the joke is almost always that there's nothing in the drink, and the drink is the excuse. All right? So, and there's a very nice explanation of the whole thing. So, you know, fuck those Me Tours. I, you know, when you, when you go after a song like Baby It's Cold Outside, which goes back to, what, 1945, maybe a little earlier than that. How many years ago is that? God, so 70 years old. So, wow. It's almost as, it's, yeah, it's almost as old as I am. Lay off, okay? You're making fucking goddamn fools out of yourselves. Uh, when you come out with that. And there been, there's been a lot of stuff on social media from the Me Tooers. Oh, yeah, this is a rape song. No, it's not. It was meant to be a playful little song about a girl, and it, it, the guy's trying to convince her to stay, and he's giving, she, he's giving her all the excuses she needs. And it's, I remember seeing it in the movie when I was a kid. I always loved the song. I always loved the two people doing it together. Uh, and... Um, I thought it was a great little 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 number, and um, I loved it as a kid. And and I didn't get the feeling he was trying to get her to. St I, well, I didn't know about sex at the time, okay. But I didn't get him. No, he was getting. I thought he was just trying to get her to kind of stay there because it's cold outside and he wants company and you know whatever. So, come on, come on, aren't we going far enough with this bullshit? I think it's time to. Uh, I think it's time to stop. Anybody comment on it? Uh, let me see here. Let me see if anybody commented on it. I just want to say, uh, hello, Phil. No, that's all they could say. Phil Meyer said, what did you do with the money your parents gave you for your singing lessons? Go fuck yourself, Phil. I can actually sing. I, you want to hear me sing? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here, here we go. Here's, here's me singing. Not, and it's not bad. Let, listen, uh, just a little bit. Uh, a little, little thing I wrote for Bobby Darren, 1958, when I was six years old. One we channel. We hope to see you all at Bimbo's Friday night with the cheese balls opening for us. Do I start oh. off? The shark bites, has such teeth, dear, and he shows them early whites. Here we go. Just a jackknife, where's so that's uh, Buddy Love, by the way. I'm on both channels. And he talk keeps to you. It woo -woo out of sight, babe. Oh, when the shark bites. When the shark bites with his teeth, dear. Scarlet billows, they start to spread. Fancy gloves, though. Where's old Mac Heath been? So. Let you hear me one more There's time. There's a tugboat down by the river, don't you know? With cement bags, oh, it's drooping down. The cement's there, well, just for the weight, dear. Oh, did our boy man do something right? Okay, well, anyway, uh, won't play any more of that. But uh, because only on one channel. I got to redo that for two channels. Oh, well, anyway, uh, when we went to stereo, I had to re-fix some things. But anyway, I uh, I can sing, Phil. Fuck you. Uh, I'm not a great singer, but I can sing, and I don't lose. But I'm not. I'm not. Why am I explaining myself? This is bullshit. Anyway, um, um, so uh, so that's the problem with that. The, you, 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 the, the fact is not that I can't sing. The fact is it's stupid to go after that song. Anyway, listen, the uh, lines are open, okay? I, I opened them. I decided to open them. <laughs> and uh, let me see here. I want to clear something up here. Here, there we go. And there we go. We clear that. Yeah, I'm getting all, everything ready. And now what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for everybody to call. Um, and uh, the number uh, is, what you do is you go to 
um, uh, you go to our uh, our uh, gabnet.net and you got all the, got the phone number there if you want to use the telephone you've got the Skype uh, t- uh, thing there and how to use Skype and how to get Skype and what our Skype number is which is gabnet live and uh, you can give us a call we'd love to hear from you and let you be part of the citizens panel the patented citizens panel or heard only here on gabnet all right uh, where's Phil where's uh, where, where, where's my Jeff getting online here? We should be getting some callers in a few moments here. Let me just, uh, I have a, my coffee. Oh, oops, there we go. Yo, what do you know? First one out tonight. First one up tonight is, uh, is Phil, is, uh, is uh, Jeff. And then we've got, uh, we've got uh, Phil coming in there. There he is. See, there's Phil. Hello, Phil. Hey, don't quit your day job. Hey, you, you didn't like my Mac the knife? You didn't like my Mac the knife? Huh? If, you know, uh, you're, uh, you can carry a tune. Uh, although you sounded like either Jimmy Durante or uh, uh, who's the guy that... Uh, the, the... Oh, fuck you. Just fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Here comes Bree from... Uh, from, uh, 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 from a place where they don't have Christmas... And Mike, where they do have a, a place, they do have Christmas. Hi, Bree. They don't have Christmas in uh, Dubai, do they? Oh, sure we do. Big time. Really? Oh, Is there yeah. nowhere on the face of this earth that you can go and get away from fucking Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Alex, you did. Hmm? Yes, Mike. Alex, you did a great job in your singing career. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Did you do a little tap dance when you were? I used to, I used to sing on all our, uh, all our Christmas shows. I used to do a number with do, Buddy. Did you do a little dance with that also? No. I was trying hard enough to sing dancing. Come on, you really want me to? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alex, it's cold outside around here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you, and and I got I got a, a landlord who isn't sending up the heat. <laughs> bang on the pipes. Yeah, bang on the pipes. Last That's night I, I, I went uh, I, I went into the guest room to sleep because I've been sleeping in there since girlfriend's been really sick, and uh, the coughing keeps me awake. That's the kind of sympathy I have. The coughing's keeping me awake. You know, uh, and every morning I will wake up, and if I see the bed has been made, I know she's still alive. Okay, so, um, but she's she's been really sick, and I feel bad for her. Um, so anyway, but we we did have we did have one thing. I finally got it working, and we now have our screeners for uh, uh, that we got from uh, uh, SAG, so that I can watch all the movies I didn't watch. So today we watched Downsizing. Oh, how is that? They're advertising it now. It's about half a good movie. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it, it's an interesting concept, and that is that if we miniaturize people, they will use up less food, less space, less air, all the things. In other words, we will be contributing to the, to the ecology of the planet, and that if we get overpopulated, then it'll be really good, you know. So, now, yeah. Wasn't there a, a movie years ago about the you know people being a shrunken person and uh, trying to get away from a cat and uh, a number of other things? I'm trying to remember what movie that was. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Well, there, there's a, oh, there, you're thinking about the Incredible Shrinking Man. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but that this is this idea is pretty good. I mean, what it what it said, you know, he follows through on it very well in mm-hmm. that all the things they have to do to prepare you for it and so on and and just the philosophy behind it that you're doing something great for humanity by shrinking yourself and uh, this guy Matt Damon decides with his wife to do it and uh, it's it's I think it's a it's a very interesting premise and the first half of the picture is really engrossing but then what he tries to do Alexander Payne who's a very good director and writer what he tries to do is uh, uh, turn it into something other than just the premise that people are shrunk, okay? And it becomes a love story, and it becomes a guy trying to find himself and so on. And I just think he kind of loses a little bit. It's, it's a lot of fun when it's still about being tiny, but once it gets away from being tiny and gets into other stuff, it kind of loses some of the, some of the novelty of it, 
And I maybe I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Payne wanted to do that, but you know I yeah. don't think it was a good idea. What is that, is that going to be a no vote? Well, it isn't going to be a yes vote. I only get to vote for one. You know, this is for uh, the. This movie was only for the performance by the supporting actress in the picture. She's oh, nominated. Nobody else is. But that we get the whole movie. You know. Yeah. Along with in the middle of it, it says SAG, and it has my code number. <laughs> so in case I try to, you know, make a copy of, of it. it and sell yeah. it, you know. Uh, and then we're going to get some on disc. But I've got, I've got, what have I got? I've got the Winston Churchill movie. I've got, of course, Shape of uh, of uh, Water. I've uh, got uh, uh, that uh, thing with uh, that, uh, uh, what's his name, did, uh, James Franco did. Uh, oh, uh, th that disaster, but. Um, something disaster. F yeah. yeah. And, and uh, we, we got about, about eight films today. I heard him Nine interviewed films. on NPR yeah. uh, about that movie, and it sounded interesting. Yeah, no, it sounds very interesting. We're looking forward to that. Uh, uh, but there are there are about about nine <laughs> films there, only only one of which we've actually seen. So I, we did a very good job of staying away from the movies. the The mm -hmm. problem is the shape of the the shape of water. We've already seen. We want to watch it again because we loved it so much, but. I went to see The Shape of Water because they said, ah, this won't get nominated for anything. And it's up for nine, eight, seven Golden Globes, the most nominated, pic nominated picture. And it's got, uh, I think uh, there are two, maybe three performances that are up for it for the uh, for the SAG Awards. So, Because yeah. the SAG Awards are all about acting. You know. In uh, four or five minutes, we may have a, uh, a, a very good nutritionist calling in about Rob's diet. And uh, if uh, she can't get a chance to call in, then I, she gave me some information. Yeah, but Rob probably doesn't look like he's calling tonight. So, well, yeah. uh, you know, you had asked uh, uh, if anybody else had heard of it and, and so forth, and so I asked her. Yeah, and uh, she gave me some interesting, interesting feedback. Okay, well, if we don't hear from her in a little bit, we'll we'll have you give us the information. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think that movie Churchill would be kind of interesting. It, it, yeah, it's not called Churchill, it, but what well, you know about Dunkirk? Yeah, no, it's not about Dunkirk. Well, it's about Dunkirk. That's one of the things in his life. Yeah, but uh, it'd be kind of uh, interesting the, to watch that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a very good, a very good performance. Gee, we lost a lot of people now. While I was blasting the use of that song, what do you think about that? That song. Isn't that going a little too far? Uh, Wait a minute, I, Jeff, me too. Jeff, you 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 were probably alive when it came out, right? Turn up your turn up your. I, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm off now. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I love that song. I, I always loved it as a as a kid. As a kid, as a kid, I loved it. It was a cute song, yeah. you know, and uh, I didn't know that someday I was listening to a song about date rape. That's stupid. Yeah, it really is stupid. Uh, you know. Uh, but, well, I understand they're going to go after the happy birthday song next. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already got uh, uh, Jingle Bells. No, don't, you, don't don't bring that up again. You started my show one night, a couple of nights no, ago, I'm with not, it, I'm not and then you went on Jack's it. show and did the same fucking thing at the beginning of the I know, show. I'm not going to say nothing and, else. And Mike, you can't sing either. <laughs> you can't either, Phil, so I wouldn't talk. I, 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 I'd never advertise the fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gee, we're losing a lot of people now. Where are they going? What's happening? I don't know. Anyway, uh, by the way, yeah. I was testing the, the new, uh, the new uh, player we have on the site, on the uh, website. And, and while you have to turn it on now, and it doesn't go on automatically, I found that because it's the tune-in feed... When we go from one show to another, it doesn't stop, it, and it just picks up the next show when it goes on. Yeah. So somebody has audio in the back. Yeah. Who's got some audio on? Do you have audio on, uh, Bree? Is that you? No. I'm very quiet. It's very early in the morning. No one is in yeah. the office yet. Yeah. How about so you? Very quiet. How about you, Jeff? Is there any noise in your apartment? In your uh, yeah. Office? Oh. Okay. I got. Uh, I got a fellow who uh, is visiting with us. 
and he's talking to my wife. Oh, okay. Well, put yourself also, put yourself uh, on uh, on, uh, mute, on mute on mute when when mute. you're not talking. I know, or make some noise. I try to mute. Okay. Now you say they do celebrate Christmas in Dubai. Why? Oh yeah, big time. Really? Well, first of all, oh, it's much bigger than eh, Vienna and. Vienna, it probably does more. Vienna is really good on Christmas. I well, no, no, I understand that. Vienna that's because that's a it's a Christian country. But this is a Muslim country you're in. Yeah, yeah, sort of. I mean, um, do you have? Some... I, mean, I mean, definitely it is. I shouldn't equivocate there. But I'm in Dubai, and Dubai is, it's kind of like okay. Would you say that New York City is like the USA, like, like it's representative of the USA? No. Oh. Okay, yeah. Dubai is kind of the same. Like it's a little bit different. Yeah. Oops. Are you still there? Yeah. Yeah. We're still yeah. here. Yeah. You guys see me? Huh? Yeah. 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 We see you. We see you. Oh, you're fine. That's strange. It's a, it says you're oh, calling. Here, me. here comes Rob Alfano. Uh, that was somebody else. Uh, yeah. I saw that also. Yeah. Somebody tried to come in and then. That's Rob. Didn't. I can see you guys now. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. Yeah. When somebody calls in, I guess I get bumped from the video. Should, should. Here, here comes Tony. Here comes Tony. No. There's Tony. Okay. Hello, Tony. Uh, hi, hi, Rob. By the way, so quick, uh, Alex. Uh, guys. Uh, sorry to take so long. Very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Buy is different from the rest of the country, and it's highly commercialized. There are many malls here. Yeah. And so you got to have Santa. Uh, I haven't seen Santa. I just see a lot of. Oh well, then, uh, then, then, how, then how is it Christmas in Dubai if you don't have Santa? Well, if you don't no, have actually, some dr dr Santa's. drunken mall Santa, Santa molesting Santa. children. You know, according to Trump, actually, they took <laughs> Christmas out of the White House during the Obama administration, and he was bringing it back. You know, really? How come yeah. then? I every year I saw them light a Christmas tree there. Uh, and that was uh, uh, just that you, wasn't. You, you know what he's implying. Long. You know what that Trump, that 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 asshole, fucking motherfucker, Trump is doing. He's trying yeah, to I say think. that Obama didn't celebrate Christmas because he's a Muslim. Am I right, Rob? Isn't that what isn't that what that, the inference uh, is here? No black sin is in Trump's yeah, life. Yeah, you weren't allowed to uh, to mention Christmas. Uh, and uh, you know, no crash or whatever, and and, and so forth. Did he and he's say that? Christmas did he really back. say that? No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Did he say that you weren't allowed to mention Christmas in the White House? He said that uh, Christmas cool, was removed from the That's White House. Cool. Yeah. Now, he didn't say it wasn't wait, mentioned. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, Rob. It's just, as, it's just as valid as everything else he says, like Bertha. And now they're trying to discredit the man that they all held in such high esteem in Mueller. You hear what's going on? It's a disgusting <laughs> going on with so the him today at the uh, at the White House for I'm the uh, listening to uh, the con the Republican repugnant congressman from Ohio. I don't know his name, who is he's starting to say that there's all kinds of crap going on, and his son, his demon seed, is also saying that there's conspiracy going on, and they're trying to discredit this because they're getting nervous. Is bullshit. You know what? It's just throw. This government is under siege, and if you don't believe it, you're going to watch it happen. This government is under siege. Uh, well, you're, you're absolutely. Uh, that's what you're, that's what the talking points of the Democrats will tell you. No, 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 it, it, there's, no talk, know, there's no wait, talking. We, we it's no, it's no, it's no, hey, Phil, 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 fuck you. There is no talking a point. We don't get a memo every day. We just turn on our TV set and watch this motherfucker mouth this shit. Well, we, we turn on the TV set and we watch the Democrats mouth their shit. They don't. And then, oh, oh, bullshit, Bill. Oh, you guys said, repeat it. You know, oh, you know what said today? He said oh, yeah. James Comey was in on this trying to 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 um, uh, make sure that Hillary Clinton got elected. Trump, keep, more accurately, to keep Trump out. Could you well, in that it was brilliant plan that he at the three days before the election he reopens the Hillary investigation. That's, you know, yeah. that's brilliant planning. Yeah. Are well, you kidding me? James Combs so made a mistake in the beginning, and I think he was trying to cover up his tracks. Yeah, but, no, but no, no, no. But this Republican senator is now saying that Comey, along with others, 
were in cahoots in the FBI. The FBI was complicit in trying to make sure that that dickhead didn't get in the White House. Well, uh, that please, was please, also a President Dickhead. With the Attorney President General. Dickhead. I'm sorry, you know, all due respect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the Attorney General uh, that the, the Clinton's uh, husband met on the tarmac. Uh, oh, he's on the. Are you oh, back God. to are you back to that again? Are you back to that again? It's all part of the same conspiracy. We're talking about the F fucking window. Is what we're talking about. It's all part of the same conspiracy. God Almighty! Is there is not conspiracy. It's all corrupt government. That's all it is. Due to the fact we got a dickhead president. Do you do you know what they do you know what they talked about on the tarmac? Yeah. What? Uh, they uh, wanted to make sure. Uh, that uh, Hillary Clinton would not uh, would would have the support, and uh, you know I don't know exactly what they. No, you, about. what what it was it was just it was just a common little nice discussion between them about about <clears throat> for the, a half hour. Yes, for a half hour they've known each other. They were on the they, phone. They knew each other. They happened to be their his and plane landed and her plane landed, and he went. I'll go over and say hello to her. Maybe you should be nice. Yeah. Well, just the same she way. Help in San <laughs> yeah. Well, how do you how do you feel about the fact that Trump Trump colluded with the Russians to win the election? Okay. Uh, that's, that, really that, that's pretty far fetched. It, oh, it's pretty. Oh, far it is it. <laughs> I kind of believe that. Oh God, I'm Trump is a goddamn fucking traitor to this country. We're off to Period. the fucking races, folks. Here we go. You know. <laughs> Jeez right. almighty. Tom At least I'm wearing my favorite so shirt tonight, you know. This country is under siege. This the the, the, the the very fabric of this country is being destroyed by people who keep saying that real news is fake news and whatever or they shouldn't even say that. Whatever they don't like. Yeah, is, that's what it is. They cherry. Yeah. The and, and I'll tell you yeah, what, I'll tell you what's worse. I'm thinking really about bad. it today. You do realize <laughs> the Republicans. I mean, I mean, uh, Obama wasn't born in this country. This is the man who's president. Do you realize? I was thinking about this today that we've been force fed this uh, this uh, uh, tax bill. We've been literally they forced it down the public's throat, you know, because they had a, a minor majority. They managed to get it passed. Yeah, it's a shit tax bill that it, that is nothing for the middle so. class. I don't think so. You know, and the middle class doesn't pay that much in taxes. Is <laughs> it, to it, the, uh, it doesn't matter. The middle class is going to be hurt by this. Well, and, and you know uh, who's going to be hurt by this? They're going to come out in another year and they're going to say, you know, we really don't have a lot of money. We've been, but, you know, because, well, hold on a second. Let me finish, okay? Give me that respect. You, your Republicans don't give other people respect. It was like what happened to Schumer in, in, in the Senate today when he got up and was talking and all of a sudden all these fucking Republicans were talking with each other. And he said, could you shut up and just listen to me for a second? Yeah. So why don't you shut up and listen to me for a second? Well, the same way the Democrats listen to the Republicans. No, uh, no, no I'm talking room. about you and me. I'm not talking about the assholes in Washington. Okay, well, don't, don't, don't think you're imitating them. You'll, you'd never get so, elected. Anyway, here here's the point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I say what I'm going to say? Is that what's going to happen here is they're going to say in about another year, well, you know, we don't have enough money because we've spent a trillion dollars on this thing and people are getting money back and all of that. So we're going to have to kill Medicare. We're going to have to kill uh, 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 Social Security. We're going to have to kill Medicare, you know, Meta, whatever the other one is. Uh, Medicaid. Huh? They well, want they're not entitlements. Entitlement. They're not entitlements, Phil. They're things we have a right to. No. They're not. They're not. They're, they're I, rights. They're not you entitlements. Say, you say they want to kill Medicare. I say they want to go and comb through entitlements. Now, I agree with you that Medicare is. Why not don't an we comb through political entitlements before we get around to the people's entitlements, huh? They didn't say one way or another, but well, uh, why? Why is it that when they finally strip me of my Medicare, they're still going to have the best health plan they could have for the rest of their life mm. just because they served two years in the Congress? Yeah. Mm. Explain two, that months. one. Explain that one, Phil. Yeah. Well, hey, I I don't approve of the Congress, uh, and uh, neither did anyone else, even during Obama's tenure. 
Uh, the well, if you want to use statistics, how about the fact that 41 percent of the American public thought that this tax bill was a bad idea? Only something like 24 percent felt it was good, and the rest uh, just didn't know. They didn't have an opinion either Because way. the 41 percent were being sold a bill of goods because every day, morning, noon, and night, you had uh, Schumer and Pelosi. I didn't hear them. Martin you know something? I, did, I didn't hear them once. So how come I came to that conclusion? Well, I heard them. I watch CNN every day from and listen to it when I'm driving multiple hours. And I've never heard Pelosi. I've never heard Schumer talking about it. Yesterday. It's everybody else. It's independent. It's the actual, uh, what, what do they call it? The C CBC or whatever it is coming out and saying these things. It's not the other side. I wish they'd fight the back. Hard. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't Bernie Sanders on Meet the Press uh, uh, or Face the Nation Sunday talking about uh, this very thing? Uh huh. And they also had somebody else on that same show talking about how good it was going to be. Right. Well, the Republicans. Okay, side. so you had both sides represented. So don't act like the only people this talking is... about it were and getting TV time. Go over to Fox. You wouldn't see Bernie Sanders talking about no. it. You wouldn't see any Democrat talking about it on Fox. And and you want to know something else you won't see on Fox is anything about this whole Russian investigation. And yet on CNN tonight, I saw this dickhead Ohio senator talking and they were interviewing him, trying to take him seriously about his claims that, that the FBI and Comey were complicit in trying to keep Trump out of the White House. So don't say the, that they, because you know what they're, what they're doing is, is they're giving them a chance to hang themselves and say the stupidest things. And that's he what they're said, doing. He said that Trump has information that other people don't have. Yes, right. That bullshit. Yeah, well, that, that that's senator that's that he like, was talking that's about. That's bullshit. Like the information yeah. that, that uh, Obama had uh, had. had had uh, bugged the uh, Trump Tower that he oh, was. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. actually, they yeah, did. Like, yes, weren't they listening in on phone calls, even though they were originated Where's with the other proof? people? Where was the proof the president said he was going to show us? It was going to come out in a couple of weeks. How many times have we heard there's information that's coming out in a couple of weeks on a whole host of things, yeah. including his tax returns and everything else? The guy is a, a downright liar. Yeah, he, and he is a liar. And anything he says, I mean, you know, it's one thing. You're Republican. I get it. But after a while, you got to look at the source of these things and say, my God, this guy has told us nothing. He, he he lies. He then he changes the truth. He was all for the, uh, the, the, the he was all for uh, the, the the Alabama senator. Oh yeah, and then he said, oh, and, I knew he would. and then he said, well, I really wasn't for him. I was really right. Like, bullshit. What are you well, in the beginning? He, he was he's talking out of his asshole. That's all. No, he 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 supported Luther Strange, but and then he instead of he but then he put his whole presidency behind dipshit. I well, why wouldn't then, you? He's also the head of the Republican Party, and he was a Republican. Didn't that the guy convicted of. He wasn't convicted of anything. Well, oh, close enough. A lot of women. But he was accused. You can't get an orange juice. Okay to right. accuse uh, Democrats, and they should get a walk. You know, uh, I got to tell, I gotta tell you something on our uh, on our our feed on our Facebook feed. People can do like smiley faces. They can do uh, frowny faces. And I wish they had a face where they did this. They just had this yes, that could go by on the screen, right? <laughs> because I would tell them, how many of you feel, if you feel that Phil is completely fucked, okay? <laughs> would you, would you, uh, you don't need to, Jeff. Uh, you, uh, the only finger you can give him is give him a frowny face, okay? Give him a frowny face and let's see. Well, let's see I, I, so how do you explain the fact that, you know, he was, a good example of what Rob was just talking about is, an hour before he goes to the FBI, he's telling them what a piece of shit they are, and then he gets down to the FBI and he says, "Oh, you guys are just great." You know, <laughs> because you he's a pussy. <laughs> Kiss ass. That's all he is. It's 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 he's a two fucking face. It's liar. Um... It's no, no, it is. He's a I, kiss but, ass. Wait a minute, but, but how do you how do you feel how do you here. feel about the fact? That oh, we have we literally gotta, been force-fed a bill that the American public is going to have to live with for at least the next eight years, and that the that allows the corporations uh, free uh, uh, getting away with getting all this free money now that they don't have to pay in taxes. And let me say this: they there were several CEOs of companies who said, "Oh, we're not going to hire more people. We're just going right. to use this money to pay off our debt." And they're gonna a piece of paper that said that AT&T was going to give out a bunch of bonuses today. Bullshit. Well, 
Hey, you know, uh, I think they give out. Wait a minute. I think they, I think, I think AT and T. Hold on a second. I think AT and T does give bonuses every year. Well, they do all of that. Yeah, they were going to do it anyway. Yes. Look, it, the, these these tax cuts are going to help middle class, and they're talking about the pass-through corporations like the S corps, where you're going to have a twenty percent. Uh, uh, <laughs> there he goes again. Yeah. You're going to have a twenty percent so, deduction so or reduction in uh, corporate taxes for uh, pass-through corporations. So uh, a corporation like mine, which is an S corp, I, I will get uh, based on twenty percent less. And before I have to sit and personally kick in for any profits, because I get what do you the mean advantage 20% of the loss. less. The tax is going from uh, at 35 percent to 20 percent. That's pretty good. It's not 20 percent uh, less. Uh, what 20%. they said tonight on the news, and and it happened to be CNN that I was watching, uh, that the pass-through corporations were going to get a 20 percent deduction. It's not the tax rate. It was uh, an actual 20 percent no. discount. Off so, the taxes. So he said another two thousand dollars a year, right? Another two thousand dollars a year on your paycheck. Two thousand dollars a year was on the average middle class all in one place. Divide divide it divide that by twenty six. It's seventy six bucks, and then they'll pull taxes out of that. And it's only good for ten years. Yeah, because because Trump will be gone down you know, the road. There's a lot of people. That uh, two thousand dollars a year makes the difference between eating and not eating. Oh, well, that's so just, well the, isn't that just special? Yeah, I, I agree with eat. that, but really, yeah. isn't that special? We'll make sure that they can get some bread. Well, bread is so cheap. You can. You got to start somewhere. And Come on, cut the taxes. Well, to subsidize them. It's a sham. And I think it was under Obama to cut the taxes. And what you did was you raised the deficit from 15 to $19 trillion. Oh, wait till you see what the deficit's going to do now. $1.4 uh, trillion. <laughs> you know, they're they're getting it from other places. Oh, yeah, they're going to get it from yeah. your hide. Medicaid, Medicare. I said this last night. I said this last night. Dubai, no personal income tax. God bless yeah. you. 120 degree heat. <laughs> yeah. 120 degree heat. If you walk outside, your brain bakes. What does that have to do with the no tax? What does that have to do with no tax? What does that have to do with no tax? Well, people wouldn't no, remember. No, that's to pay how you answer every question. <laughs> whenever, whenever we throw something at you that has anything remotely to do with a, a salient question about the facts of something, you throw out something like, "Well, look at the heat." Yeah, yeah, you know, true. I mean, true. no, but no, it has nothing to do with taxing. Yeah, they, well, that you can't get anybody there if they're going to tax them. They got to give them some reason. You know, in Monaco, they don't have any tax either. Really? Uh, there's no uh, income tax. Monaco's only about three miles wide. Okay, yeah, but nice and place. it's not a. It's, it? it's, it's what? Oh, okay. uh, it's big. It's I think it's bigger than that. It's about about. It's not very big. It's not yeah. very big. It goes up the hill a little, you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, nice place. But I, I can oh, tell it is you. just a principality. It's not a. Yeah. Uh, it's not a uh, country. When does he sign it, Trump? Does he sign it tomorrow? Tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Maybe Remember, did you see all these acolytes he had around him today saying what a wonderful president he was, that he was the best president ever? It, it made me puke. It, I had to walk it, away. It, it was like, it was like uh, uh, somebody had drank some Kool-Aid. It was bust everybody they, in. They, drunk and all like they, they all sat around that table and they all like, uh, yeah, wrote, yeah. all just roast, you know, said all these wonderful things about how it is to be with this Unbelievable talent and this wonderful man. Remember that? It fucking yeah. makes yeah. you embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, the, and then there was more, more of it later that day. It was all dick sucking all day. I, I like the unity that they're displaying, and that's oh, and that's what you guys were. No, no, that was a unity in unity. his cabinet. The unity does not extend to the uh, to the. Oh, no, those were all senators that were on the stairs today. Uh, that uh, uh, McConnell and. Uh, and and Ryan, who's congressman, they, they were all there. Jay and I we'll seen a long time. They have when it's time to pass a, an infrastructure bill, they're not going to be so unified. Oh, oh don't worry. By the time we're through, this this president's going to cost us more money than any president we've had in years. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and let me say something so, about the tax break. Mess. Americans are going to be very happy when in January they take home more money. It won't be a lot. It'll maybe be what. $15, $20 a paycheck or something like that. 
it's not going it's not gonna be a lot. Got these, huh? They double the the minimum deduction. No, that's that's later on for taxes. That's when you pay your taxes. What what I'm saying is is that you know what you take home uh, will be. Uh, a little more, but it's only going to be a couple of dollars. Not going to be anything great, but people will go, "Oh, I got more money back." Oh, that's wonderful. But then they'll they're, see. They'll they're, see they're, after about but, the second month, they'll three go, no, but they, they're they're taxing, no, but then the next year they're going to go to pay their taxes and going, "What? The mortgage in my home can't be deducted? You know, exactly. interest that's on my exactly. home they'll can't be deducted. Wait them. a minute, I'm paying more in taxes this year than I paid last year. Fuck and Trump. Fuck mortgage, the Republicans. Your mortgage can be. Deducted at seven hundred and fifty thousand instead of a yeah, million. But some, I feel hey, sorry hey, for the people that have million dollar homes and mortgages. Wait, wait a minute, wait a you live in California, hey, Phil. Uh, what are you talking about? You and me live in California and we can't buy a shack for less than a million bucks. Well, you know, you there's pay that much I'll tell you, my my wife's uh, condo here uh, just sat there. She bought it for about a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's just been sitting there for the last couple of years. And the market rate on it now is something like a half a million. Right. Uh, and but who knows? That'll probably go up even that. higher, you know? And so. Oh, it, that. And then all, she's all not I'm paying a mortgage you, on uh, that. I can't stand your logic. Well, Bill. Your logic. It. Your logic is so fucked. If, is her mortgage more than $750,000? It will be. What do you mean it will be? It will be. Oh, well, mortgage. It's no, going to no, go no, up she, that wouldn't much? Make, she wouldn't be making payments. All I'm saying is. So the value. People are going to look and see what they can't deduct, okay? And then they're going to say, wait a minute, I'm paying more this year. And then they're going to start. This, You know something? The only thing good about this bill, and I'm glad the Republicans shoved it down our throats, is it's going to come back to haunt them. It's yep. going to come back yep. to make them lose elections next year. I, I don't know. You know, if you buy a million-dollar house... Uh, you're going to put at least 20% yeah, down. Let's not even talk about that. Let's not even talk about that. Isn't 20%. Let's not talk about that. I'm telling yep. you that this is going to come back to bite the Republicans in their ass because they shoved this down our throat. They didn't have committee hearings. They didn't have mm -hmm. hearings on it. They just pushed the bill down the throat. Some of it was even handwritten. That's how fast they were trying to get this thing done. Now, they, when you don't hold it, hearings, this, you're yeah, trying to hide something. And by the way, Obama today, I mean, not Obama, but Trump said something today, which was very telling. He said, well, I'll have to admit now that it's passed that part of it does away with Obamacare. He said, I never mentioned that before because I didn't want it to get in the way. Well, you know, thank you so much for sneaking that in, you little duplicitous asshole. Hey. All it did was do away with the mandate, which, as far as I'm concerned, was unconstitutional, and I don't see how the Supreme Court allowed it to go through. Oh, well, you're not the Constitution. You know? Yeah, that's uh, right. Sorry. What part? Oh, wait a minute. What part of the Constitution would not make the mandate possible? You, that you're forced to buy something. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, there. Uh, tell me. What, what amendment is that? The 84th Amendment: Thou, thou shalt not have to buy anything you don't want. You're forced to pay registration. What's the difference? Right, yeah, but you see, you don't, you're not forced to drive a car. You're forced wait, to buy insurance. Wait, wait. Driving a car is a privilege. Oh fuck. And if oh. and this and the and the roads are owned by the government. Have you, have you, you driven you in California? Them. It's no privilege. I got to tell you. All right. Who owns the roads? Government? Yeah. Who pays for the roads? We do our taxes, you asshole. That's what the hell are you talking about? That's why you have to pay for a registration. But Someone's when it comes to bullshit, it, you have to pay for the goddamn taxes anyway for the highway. What the hell are you talking to, about? When it comes to personal insurance, bullshit, Phil. Uh, Mike, you never make a a, a a a decent argument. And yes, you're you're are you are too. By loud. the way, by the way, Mike, turn your mic down. It is way too loud. Bree put up a sign saying that, and he's absolutely right. I mean, turn it way down. Yeah, and okay, instead I'll of screaming and making noises, why don't you say you know words that make sense? Oh, that's that's well, I now like we that. now we don't hear you at all. <laughs> that, well, that's great. That's great, Mike. Leave it there. Uh, leave it there. That's that's that's. Yeah, I haven't heard bullshit. him sound that good in years. Oh bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> or just move the mouthpiece bullshit. away. Bullshit! Move the mouthpiece <laughs> away from your mouth a bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but so yeah. Uh, okay. I, I lost my train of thought. Well, too. good. Good. You oh, know how it feels uh, now. Looks but, like. Oh, by the way, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Live from Dubai. 
we're looking at the, the desktop of uh, of. Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of pens. Of Bree, I Bree's am, desktop. Uh, I'm organizing my desk. Really? All right, the drawers. The you drawers, know what sorry. I got to get? I got to get myself some some markers. I have, I'm running out of things to write with. I've got you know, so many here. I you you get a ballpoint honest. pen and all of a sudden it runs out of ink and you have to kind of like rub it a lot. And then I'm reading like the, yeah. the impression it makes on a piece of paper. You, know, so. uh, you, yeah. you rub it a lot? No. What, See, what? Yeah, I'm checking. I'm checking them. Yeah. To see if they're any good, yeah, and then toss yeah. them. Oh, yeah. And then if they're not, they go over there. Well, there's nothing so worse have, than like, a magic <laughs> marker that's dried out. You know, I go to I go to uh, two conventions a year, and uh, my my goal at the convention is how many pens can I get off of each uh, each uh, uh, event. Yeah. That's what I have here. Yeah. <laughs> but but <laughs> yeah. they're not great. They're not great pens, though. That's no, the they they last Some about are. sentences. This one is really good. I yeah. got this one at the hotel. It has a it has a stylus on one end, yeah, and then it's got a really nice grip here, and it writes really well. So that one's a keeper. Well, apparently your uh, your nutritionist isn't going to call. Yeah, I, I've been. Uh, uh, she says she's not home yet. Well, uh, well, I think I think she's had enough time. Uh, okay. Yeah. The, you know, the wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you said that she had an opinion on this diet that Phil uh, at Rob right. is on. But Rob isn't going to give a shit because he's losing weight and he's happy. Right, Rob? Feel great. Feel okay, great. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I would rather have her do it. But she says, first of all, everybody that does that diet gains the weight back. Everybody that does every diet gains the weight back unless you... Exactly. What I, I, Rob, don't defend yourself yet. You, you'll get... A, I, I was told that. I'm not here to defend myself. Phil, they say that about all diets. They say that about the low-carb diet, but I'll tell but you the truth. They say it about everything. I've kept mine okay. off for a year, so go blow me. What you're, what you're shooting up is, is estrogen. It's heroin. Well, no, it's estrogen. And uh, and and that uh, boobs that can cause a lot of problems in in men besides boobs. And then on women, uh, well, he they, might they, grow a vagina. Maybe that'll happen. But then he well, can be. He, then he oh, can hashtag me too. I, I, I well, he's a Democrat. He's already got a vagina. I've done all of my reading <laughs> on it. I don't care what she has to say. Who she is, it doesn't matter. It's it's her opinion. It's like your opinion on this tax bill. It's she like said, you know, on this president. It means nothing to me. Okay, he, she says that uh, a lot of doctors are are doing this and they're making a lot of money, ah, but good. it's it's very unsafe okay. and and that there's there's been a lot of issues with it. So I just wanted to let you know that not not to burst your bubble, but uh, to you know to help you if there was something that was going to hurt well, you. Well, then what does she suggest? What's her solution? Bad. Uh, exercise and uh, less calories and uh, eat eat right. You know? mm -hmm. I feel I felt the best I felt in a long time. I know when I did Atkins, I felt great too. Now, uh, I, well, apparently, that, apparently, you only did it up to a point. Uh, I lost I lost uh, eighty pounds when I first did it in like two thousand. Three or four. And how so, and, and how did you? How long did it take you to gain it back? Five years. Uh huh. And and you, so you didn't watch yourself during that five years. Oh, so five years I watched myself, and then Faye started making me all this Filipina stuff with rice and 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 so forth. So you you eat bread. you eat some of it, but you you pick around it, and you don't eat all the rice, or you say, "Give me the the food without the rice." You know, uh, you got to. It, 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 um, it it just came back on like uh like like a uh, I got, like I got a news for you. Pussy doesn't trump good health. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, that wasn't the the point. But what what happened was, well, you know, as soon as I started eating carbs again, uh, it was like uh, heroin and going from uh, you know one bag a day to five. Well, I, let me let me ask uh, Rob this. So, uh, Rob, how you doing on it? It's still going Next, good. Twenty pounds. Huh. Um, 20 pounds since the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Wow. That's uh, good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, feeling good. Yeah. Happy. Yeah, but we're gonna we're, we're, now, the, no more shots now until after Christmas. Yeah. Uh, we're, today was the last one because we're going to cheat over the weekend. Yeah. So we have stopped. We continue the diet when until When you say Saturday. cheat over the weekend, you know, you can, there's cheating and then there's cheating. Well, okay. I mean, what did you say? 
something about cheat over well, the weekend? Well, I said that you say you're going to cheat over the weekend, and my feeling was I just because it's a holiday, I never use that as an excuse on the at least on the Atkins thing. I still was very careful. If it's Thanksgiving, I ate basically the turkey. You know, you're going to cheat, huh? I don't have any. I don't have any. Um, what's the part? What's the, I'm, I'm going to be staying at, at a house where there's a lot of food and there's going to be a lot of temptations. And if I'm going to stay strong and continue this to get where I want to go, I can't feel really deprived like that. I need the 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 um, the, well, uh, you know, the, I, I, I'll tell the you. reward for what I've done so far. Uh, and yeah. It's worth a couple of dates and then go right back uh, at I, it again. I, I, and I'm going to not let me worry about the years. It, it's let me give no, you a let me give you a little sick. hold on a second. Can I talk? L- yeah. uh, um, let me give you a little hint about what I did because you're facing the same thing I faced. You know, you go somewhere and all of a sudden there's a lot of food and there's potato chips and there's all this stuff and and you, you want to eat it all. And I just found that if I just stayed with the area in which I knew that I wasn't going to put on any too many carbs doing it. You're not really depriving yourself. In fact, I found I was getting creative about it, you know. So, well, I, I could tell you, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do what it is that I want to do over the weekend, and uh, starting there, fresh when we get back. But to aren't town. you going to put yourself out of balance? In other no, words, like I mean, with the with yeah. the uh, with the Atkins diet, you really kind of go into a uh, uh, thing called ketosis. ketosis. And if you if you take in things that have carbs. You throw that off. Like to this day, I will not have any sweets. I will not have cake. I will not have ice cream. I won't have any of that kind of stuff. This is not a ketosis diet. Yeah. 500 calories uh, has got to be a ketosis diet. No, it's not not a ketosis diet. No. No. I eat two pieces of fruit a day. You can't do that on Atkins. Yeah. So how many carbs are you taking in? Don't know. He doesn't know. That's not the diet. The diet is 500 carbs and 500 calories, right? Yeah, one apple and one orange a day. Hey, listen, my friend uh, uh, Penn Gillette lost 100 pounds in, uh, what was it, 90 days. And how did he do it? He just, I think he just ate, uh, ate uh, vegetables. I think that was his main well, food. Vegetables have carbs, yeah. Yeah, but, but he, he lost uh, that much weight. And he, I think he's gained a little of it back, but he says he hasn't. I asked him if he, when I last time I interviewed him. Uh, did you did you put any of that back on? He said not really. About maybe seven pounds, something like that. Yes, Bree. Uh, I have to tell you, Alex. I come back to the states uh, once a year mm-hmm. at the very least. Yeah. I I mean I don't really watch my weight very much. I, I've always been kind of kind of slim, but I, I can tell you when I come back to the U.S. the weeks that I'm back there, I definitely gain weight a uh-huh. lot. Yep. And when I go into yeah, when I go into our grocery stores, it's just unbelievable the amount of junk that is there. And we don't have the same level of junk in our supermarkets here. They're definitely there, but yeah. it's much smaller. Well, I'll tell the, you something. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you something. Most brief. places are just fresh fruits and vegetables. I knew Dr. Atkins. I knew Bob Atkins. He used to do my radio show all the time. And this was back in the, you know, in the what is it, the early 70s. And uh, I, uh, I, I, I always found when I went to Europe, I would go to Europe, I would eat like a pig, all right? Because you're on vacation, right? I'd go to Spain, I'd eat paella every, every day for lunch, you know, with the rice and everything. And I'd, come back, I'd come back and I lost five, 10 pounds. And I said to him, why does that happen? And he said, that is a phenomenon we just know about, that when people go to Europe, they lose weight no matter what they eat. And we think it has something to do with the soil that the, that the stuff has grown in there or whatever. But over here in America, for some reason, we can just pack on the pounds with the food here. But you don't pack on the pounds with the food in other countries. We have, it probably has something to do with the mass production of things like chickens and how we inject yeah. them with all kind of shit to make them grow. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a bit. We use a normal gestation period. Everything has to be uh, fat and quickened. So, yeah. Yeah. Do we, do we have oils and uh, uh, saturated fats and things like that that they use in our foods that they might not well, be no, using? What we, what we use here, what we do here is, for instance, we use uh, in, instead of uh, what, what, what do we use? It's uh, corn. We use yeah. corn oil. And corn oil is incredibly fattening. It's incredibly bad for you. 
Uh, and yet it's in everything. If you go down the aisle, any of the prepared foods, okay, I mean, things you buy that are in a box like, you know, uh, uh, hamburger helper, whatever, uh, they, they have these products in. They have this, this f you know, fructose corn sugar, for instance, as an example. A lot high of corn, sodium, too. Yeah, high sodium. Th these things are deadly, you know. I mean, I don't think... In the year or, or two years that I've been dieting or that I've dieted or, you know, kept it off, that I in any way have uh, have gone out and bought a prepared food to eat here. I make it all myself. because Also because I know what I'm putting in it, you know, and I'm able to control it better. Yeah, I, I know what uh, Rob, uh, what uh, Bree was saying uh, about the difference in foods. Uh, for instance... I went to Mexico while I was doing uh, Atkins, uh, and I was successful at doing it. And uh, I was driving uh, from Cancun to uh, Playa del Carmen, and I and I needed a snack. I needed almonds. I, I wanted them in the worst way. And I pulled <coughs> over at stores, at convenience stores. You couldn't get almonds. This is another one uh, of Phil's little travel logs, so just stay with us, folks. Yeah, but you, you couldn't you couldn't get anything that was healthy to snack on everything that they had. Uh, well, look and, at them. Hmm? Look at them. Yeah. A lot yeah, of very, that, lot of very it you goes know. to Bree's statement that, uh, you know, they come over here and it's bad. It's just as bad over there. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you go to a place like Spain and everybody's thin. Everybody's thin. You know, here, who's calling? Uh, uh, wait a minute, let's see, uh, let's see who this is. Who's Japan, calling? It's in the 415 area code, so it's got to be San yeah, Francisco. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Willie. Who is it? Hi, Willie. Hi. Uh, yeah, Willie's a nutritionist. Uh -huh. I'm a nutritionist. Uh, okay. Have a good night, folks. What? Uh, oh, no, wait, wait a second. Oh, 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 Rob didn't want to hear oh, it. <laughs> Rob was the guy that was doing the uh, his HTC diet. And, uh, HTC? What Why is did it? he leave? Um, he doesn't want to hear uh, any well, negative. Well, then we don't uh, have to. Then we don't have to deal. Oh, with I, I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Oh, hey Willie, can you tell Please. me what uh, or uh, tell us what? Uh, there's seven people on on this call. Uh, what the? No, we just uh, lost two of them. Uh, yeah. No. What happens to uh, uh, people when they uh, do those inj injections? We've already talked about it. We don't need it, and we just lost somebody who we like having on this panel because you, you insisted on programming the show for me. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Willie, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for calling. I'll talk to you Saturday. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, okay. All, all right. right. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. bye. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Now let me I see if I, let me see if I can call Rob back, if he'll, if yeah. he'll allow us you to. You embarrassed me, and... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll see you another night. Oh, oh, oh now he's going to leave. Oh, boy. Oh, because I embarrassed him because he goes ahead and he has somebody come on my program, and he's programming my program without asking me first if I want the person on the show. He's insulting. There is nothing to that. Huh? You know. He's got thin skin. But at the same yeah, time, he has, a, he, has a ver he has a very thin skin. If, yeah. she, uh, if she's cre a credible person in this matter... Uh, let her have a minute. Or... Well, uh, no, but I mean, the uh, the point is that that uh, he he like uh, program, you know, the show for me by asking her to call the show and, and be on it about the, Rob's diet, and mm -hmm. and quite frankly, I, uh, I didn't want that to happen. I would, I can he, understand he, that, and he didn't ask me. Stay. He didn't ask Thanks me if he for should. Calling. Thank you for your he, opinion. He didn't he ask me if he do should it do it. So you know, I you know. I think. I don't know. That wasn't a ground rule. So now we know that that's a ground rule. Well, no, you know, I don't mind when people call on their own and want to talk about somebody and somebody says, I want to talk about Rob's diet, you know. But I'm very upset that Rob was upset, okay? I'm more upset that Rob was upset than Phil because Phil's not programming my show, you know. And uh, uh, if, he, if he wants to be pissy about it, then go be pissy, Phil, you know. Well... I, I just don't think there needs to be dissension. I think Phil was uh, thinking about Rob. He wanted him to hear something well, else. Well, he had already Rob, told you know. us everything that she was going to say, and so therefore I don't know why yeah, we needed to have it repeated it again. And he's done no this before. He's, he's asked people to call Phil the needs backup. He's asked people to call the show before that then brings the show to a grinding halt, you know? 
And I think okay, I should. Well, I think case, I should be. I think I should be consulted first before you recruit somebody to call the show okay. about a particular topic. If you've told him that before, then I agree with you. You know. So I mean. Uh, so I mean, he. Uh, I embarrassed him, Phil. Uh, I'll embarrass you more. Fuck you. You know. And 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 what you call Paul was comfortable. I mean, the impression I get. In, with his diet, so I, you know, you don't have to have the point. And, it, and by the way, I'll add this, Phil. If you don't call back, don't ever call back. All right. I no, can't believe you you've said that before. No, I mean it. I mean it this time. If you don't call back, oh, don't okay. ever call back. All right. Oh, sorry. They're doing the. They're doing some construction on. Oh, that's okay. Like that's all right. That's okay. I don't mind it. So anyway, where are we? Okay. So some other people. Would some other people call to take up the slack? Because we uh, we lost Rob and we lost Phil, uh, and uh, you know, and Phil, you got you got you know you got till the end of the show to call back. But uh, if you're going to be pissy about it, be pissy about it. You, you're pissy. You feel bad about it. You feel hurt that I feel hurt that you hung up. Okay, so now uh, and I run the show, so if I'm hurt, I don't have to have you back on. And, and diets work for different people. You know, he's happy with what he was doing. Paul. Yeah, and I don't, I, I don't he think, I that. don't think he wanted to sit here and listen to somebody tell him that it was no good when it was doing him a lot of good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Like, you yeah. can't validate your point. Like here she is. All right, it might work for her, but Paul's happy with what he's doing. I'm going to try calling Rob one more time. Oh no, he looks like he's not online. It could be. And he lost Let's 20 pounds. See. He's happy in the place he's let me, at. Let me try calling him back and just see. Tell him. Tell him the Phil, the, the coast is clear. The I, Phil I'm is going. sorry I about that. I just skin skin really. don't understand that. What? I don't understand. You know, the, the sign of an educated mind is to be able to hear other opinions without adopting them. You know, but you, you should be. Yeah, but I don't, I, I, you know, I, I understand where Phil is, com where uh, Rob is coming from. Okay. And that is that I feel that. Uh, when I was doing my diet, I don't think I wanted anybody to tell me how I should be handling it. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't and, think and, she's uh, telling him how to handle it. She's offering some extra advice. Yeah, yeah. I think Phil so right now I have a golden cough, and uh, I'm taking, I'm taking. I got these in the states. Uh, I'm taking a decongestant. Yeah. And I'm taking an one. Should I be taking them together? I'm not exactly okay. sure. If somebody had an opinion about that, I'd like to hear it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I'm just going to send Rob a note here. Uh, what shall we say to him uh, tonight? Uh, no. Huh? Don't do it? Uh, Don't do it. Well, what should I take, the allergy or the decongestant? Well, for what? What's bothering you? I mean, I, I kind of have like a lot of mucus, and it's going, starting to go down in my chest. Oh, so it's like a nasal drip. Do you have mucinex over there? Because mm, that's good for that. This uh, is, I have uh, allergy relief. It's okay. diphenyl. Okay, what's the other one? What's the other what's one? The other one is a decongestant, and that one is phenylephrine. Are they over the counter? Yeah, I got, got them when I was back in the States. Uh, I got them at like, uh, these are like travel versions of things core values, and it says, compared to active ingredient in Sudafed PE. You know what my mother does, Alex? When I used to get stuffed up, she used to get me a neti pot, like breathe that in. I used to open it up like, like a, like that hot thing, like you breathe in. Yeah. I've heard different things about neti pot. Remember they used to I put Vicks, Vicks on your chest? <laughs> oh yeah, my mother used to do that too. Yeah. I have a, How yeah, I have that? some, uh, shower gel that's got eucalyptus and menthol in it that's good but that's when i'm at the office oh no, I have to, Alex, I have I, and to i tell you uh, i've been taking those two things they make me more irritable yeah. like, i was very upset yesterday with my boss for no reason yeah what were you going to say tony the pebbles has to go out i'm sorry oh so they're going to lose you too i'm sorry okay goodbye see you later oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. His dog. So now we're down to four people. Now, uh, okay. Speaking of like health. Anybody issues, else want to go? By the way, while we're at it. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, no. I'm gonna hold the course. <laughs> but here's, the, you know, Alex, okay. If um, if Phil had a friend 
who was in the porn industry who called in. I bet you that, you'd let that one on. No, I would want to be asked first. You know, and, and, <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes, I would absolutely want to be asked first. Uh, I don't know about because you're, what you're doing is you're booking a guest on my show, and and that's for me to determine whether I want that person as a guest or not. And I think probably if he'd asked me about this nutritionist, I would have said no, and I would have said no because it was going after Rob's core values there. You know, uh, Rob, I'm sure has done all the work he needs to do in reading up on this, and is this and he's seen it work for his wife. And it makes him, he feels better, and he doesn't need somebody coming on the program and telling him, oh, that's no good. I'm a nutritionist. That's no good. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I completely sympathize with Rob, and I'm really sorry, and I hope it hasn't turned Rob off to the show, but I understand why he's, uh, why he's, why he's pissed. And as far as Phil being pissed, I'm sorry, <coughs> Phil. You know, I mean... Um, um. Just you know, if you're not if you're not going to call back, then don't bother to ever call again. I, we don't need you. you no. I think Rob is always a very thorough uh, person, and and he researches uh, all kinds of things uh, a lot yeah. before he makes a decision. Right. Uh, what, I'm not saying that uh, his diet is the best thing in the world for for everybody, or it's the best thing for him. No, you know, uh, no. I, th I think it's it, it it's working very well for the last. What has he been doing it for a month? Yeah, yeah. So you know, you, you got to find out what happens. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, there's no uh, negative things to it, and, and quite frankly, we don't know, and and I don't think uh, Phil doesn't know e either, and. Uh, as far as this lady goes, I don't. I don't. I don't, I, I don't even know who she searches. is. I, I don't know who she is. I, I don't know her qualifications. You know, uh, and and uh, you know, for all I know, she might be giving out shitty advice. But I don't know because I don't know her reputation. But Phil, I had her. Uh, Phil, uh, I'm going to have her call. You know, and he's done this to me before, where he's had somebody call, and only in one case did it did it work out all right. And I keep telling him. Hey, don't book my show for me. Ask me first. And he and he didn't again in this case. Oh, all right. If you've said it before, I mean yeah. that. I understand. That. Yeah. So anyway, I'm very mad at Phil. And I'm serious, Phil. I'm very mad at you. I'm mad at you because you hung up on me. I'm mad at you because, you know, you, you can be mad. I embarrassed you. How did I embarrass you? I didn't embarrass By, you. Because he, he told the lady to call in. Apparently he has a you know, friendship or relationship. Yeah, well. And then she calls in and, and we don't accept her. If, uh, if, if he wants to tell, a, if any of you want to tell a friend, hey, why don't you call this show and join us? I don't mind that. But when you're call, having somebody call who then is kind of like a guest, I want to know about that. You know? So. I don't know. You know. Well, this brought I the whole. I wouldn't mind giving her a minute. This brought the whole show to a grinding halt. I think I'm just going to turn it off and. I'm really I'm serious, you know, and and we're gonna have a break for Christmas, and if I'm back after Christmas, yeah, good, and if I'm not, everybody have fun with uh, Jack, you know, and Damien, uh, because Santa, Santa Claus will be here Friday, huh? What? Santa Claus will be here Friday. Oh, Santa Claus will be here Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's good. Well, you know, I mean. Uh, uh, it, listen, you know, we have fill free nights and we do just fine, but tonight there are hardly any people out there. So it's, it's, uh, it's getting a little slow here. Uh, and I don't know what we, anybody want to bring anything up? Well, I see well, that that's a, well, enough reason well, to stop the show. I think the Pittsburgh yeah. Steelers were robbed against the New England Patriots last yeah. uh, Sunday, yeah. uh, Sunday night. Yeah. But that's for the sports show, I guess. Yeah. So with the Raiders, yeah. Uh, I I'm not. Sh I saw Neil deGrasse Tyson on CNN talking about the UFOs. He's skeptical. Yeah. About about. He said oh, when. He, yeah. Oh, you mean about about the about the USOs? Oh, here, Phil Meyer has just written me a a rambling note here. Uh, in case you don't realize it, you embarrassed me in front of someone I have great respect for. 
Uh, I have uh, I asked her to come on your show to give important information. She's highly qualified nutritionist and RN. Yell at me as part of the show, but disrespect my guest I will not have. Well, you weren't asked to have her on as a guest, so you put yourself in that position, Phil. Uh, I have been loyal and kept my promise to call. I promise never welch on a promise. I'm done. Good luck. Okay, Phil. That's the way you feel about it. Well, well let me see here. Well, then, fuck you. Um, let me see. Well, I, you know, I think that if you told him before that yeah. he has to tell you in advance, then I agree with you that you have a right to sort of shut that down. On the other hand, I probably would have let her do the, the minute, and then I would have said, henceforth, let's not, you know, let's make it extra clear that you can't book a guest on my show. Yeah. yeah. But I, I don't like to see the dissension. You guys are always doing that. Mm hmm Yeah. And I don't think it's it's helpful or healthy and and certainly not well, over that. He's never calling again according to him, so you know. We're well, he said that before too. We're through with Phil. You know, I mean, I I, I like having Phil on. Where's the show. Renee? I, I, Renee, I, get I, in. Yeah, I defend Phil. <laughs> I defend Phil. Uh, on this program all the time. People tell me, I won't listen to your show until you get rid of Phil. And I say, then don't listen to the show. You know, I've been, and I believe me, I get that at least once a week. Okay. No, I'm telling you, Alex, it's so, you don't understand how necessary that is because we've become, as a, as a country, we have an inability to mm -hmm. talk to people on the other side, quote unquote. It doesn't exist. We're losing that, and it used to be common. It used to be common, talk shows in the 80s, people would call in with all kinds of different ideas, and, yeah. we, and everybody would listen and we would comment. Now, the separation is too too much, and unless we get back to you know, being Americans, mm -hmm. we have a problem. Let me call Phil, let me see if he picks up at all. That's, that's quite true, Bree. Yeah, I agree with you, Bree, on that. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I have uh, for a long time uh, defended Phil uh, constantly on this show, and for him to be this, this just put off by that, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, you put yourself in that position, Phil. You called this woman and told her to call the show, not asking me if I wanted it. You There's know? some truth in that. You know, yeah. and and so you put yourself in that position. So how dare you say you were embarrassed? You put yourself in a position to be embarrassed. So, you know, and I didn't want to talk about it without Rob here. Okay. Is that well, another good reason? Well, there's some truth to that too. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, I think that Phil had, uh, you know, a good, good, I mean, I think he had a good idea that he was, he's concerned about Rob in some way. Yeah, well, you know, it could be, but uh, I'm, I'm sure he's concerned about Rob and he could have said, Rob, here's what somebody told me, and 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 repeat it to us. But you know, yeah, I some, mean, sometimes you know it, it's better to hear it from the horse's mouth. I don't know that she was going to say definitively exactly what he said in the way he said it. Maybe she could say, if it works for you, it's fine. I don't know, maybe you know, I don't know. Maybe she could hear what Rob says. Rob could hear what she says. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Anyway. You know. Um, I, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've just uh, really, really had it. I mean, I, I just am, am bothered by the fact that Phil would act that way. I mean, I wish Rob would call back. The coast is clear, and I would love to hear from Rob. Uh, but I'm worried we've lost him, too. You know, and I'm just thinking about maybe not even doing a show for the rest of the week. You know, I just, I, this has so put me off on all of this. Uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed in Phil and I'm, I'm, uh, you know, and, and he, he should have just said to me, you've embarrassed me and fight with me. Tell me, you know, instead of writing me a, a, a note. Uh, but anyway, so I, I wrote him a note back. I just wrote him a note and said, fuck you. And then I said, call us now and let's talk this alpha about this on the air, you know, but apparently he's not. So, you know, fuck him. Wait a minute. 
I can call his phone. Uh, there you go. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Let's see if he answers. Let's see. Do I do I have his phone number? He called you last night, didn't he? Should uh, be on the redial. He, yes, he should. Yeah, he, yeah, you're right. You're right. He should be on the redial. <laughs> uh, um, where was this? Uh, oh, here we go. Here, I got a phone number. Let me try him. Let me see. Oh, my, my, it, it's been sent to a voice answering system. Oh, so I turned it off. Yeah, uh, yeah. Come back, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, what I what uh, what 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 I said was uh, so, somewhat out of uh, uh, out of haste here, but you know, I mean, we do like your being part of the show, but apparently. You're not. Well, and, you know, and I also think it's sometimes good that he's not here. Um, you know, that also creates a different dynamic as well. We know that there are a few people who are more likely to call in on those nights. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I mean, I like I don't call in every single day. Uh, I think that there should be breaks to a certain degree. And I like. When Hello, Phil. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have Phil on the phone. Phil, come okay. back online, will you please? No, no, I'm not saying you have to defend yourself. I just think that we should solve this problem. Okay, okay, okay. It's Bye. a holiday time. Yeah, it's right? a holiday time. Peace on America. Earth. Huh? Yeah. Peace on Earth. Goodwill. Yeah, but anyway, you know, I just, I, I just want to get that little piece of drama solved. Mm -hmm. and, and Rob, if you're listening, oh. I'm truly sorry for the fact that you were upset. Uh, at all, I don't want now, people. Alex, Wait a minute, hold on a second. I have a question. Wait a minute, here, 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 here comes, here comes Phil. And I have a question for you. Alex. What? Well, and it has to do with pe new people calling in. Yeah. Uh, like two or three weeks ago, these guys called in. I don't know if you remember. It was two of them, like on the same day. Yeah. And they wanted to, they wanted to bring you back to San Francisco. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that, that it was going in, in, in just a terrible direction, and I couldn't My deal camp with it. Stuck. I, okay. I'm, I don't know. If, if Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What, I, what, I like Phil? Phil, your camera's uh, stuck. Camera's stuck. I'm going to have to call back. Oh, okay. Call back. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know about you, but I thought it was a breath of fresh air. And the other thing is. No, but no, but, you, called, no but you didn't hear how it was going. I know, knew where it was going. These were people that were just. Uh, so what have, you, what have you been doing since you weren't at WMCA yeah. anymore? And I didn't want that. It just, All right. You but know, when I, somebody calls in, it, but I've noticed this about you. If they want to talk about uh, Midnight Blue mm -hmm. uh, or New York, I don't know. Am I right? You, you love that. You'll talk about that forever. No, no, but, but usually, usually it's with people I already know, like John Rockwell, who worked with me on it. Oh, okay. you know, or yeah. Carter Stevens, who was a porn director back in the day, you know, uh, and that was. Hey, speaking of that, there have been a couple of deaths in the porn world uh, recently. Have you read two? I mean, I, it comes across my news feeds. Uh, yeah, there yeah. were two recently, younger women. I, I, don't I, I, I don't know who they were. There, there's your camera, Phil. Okay. Well, that's surprising, Alex. Phil, I, let, I let's, let's first of all, let's make up, sure. okay? I'm sorry if you felt embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, this is a no, person who's let, important let, let, to me, okay. and I would think that let, you'd have enough respect. No, no, here's the reason, Phil. Number one, it's like booking a guest for me, and I and I don't like that. Okay, that's for, I, let me finish. I let me mentioned finish. it 15 minutes finish. before and it, that I it bothered, call, and you could have said yeah. to me, don't have her call. It bothered, it bothered, well, I didn't know that she wasn't going to call because I didn't know you had a way of stopping her at that point. Okay, you didn't yeah, say that. Stop. You said, if you don't want her, I can always, but anyway... And you upset Rob, you know, and Rob is, is very important to me as a person well, and I, as a friend. That's why I didn't want to explain it. She has a better way of explaining it. And, but Rob, uh, Rob, didn't want, didn't, Rob didn't want to lecture about something that's working for him. She okay. wasn't going to lecture him. Well, he obviously was very hurt. It's very unsafe. And, it, no, uh, uh, no, no, let's not get into it, okay? All right. Well, the the thing is, uh, no. From her know, standpoint, I'm, it's very unsafe. I, I, I can find I'm, you another doctor I'm who will be, say it is. You know, well, look. Uh, several years ago, I never wanted to see you without a guest. Uh, I I call uh, uh, like like it's a job, uh, so that I can add to the show. And I felt that your handling of that, her and me, was 
uh, was, it, was what wrong. happened was is you told us exactly what she said. Okay, you transmitted that to Rob, and then when she called, that was going to like be a double dose of the same thing. Okay, well, and what I'm bothered by is that Rob felt bad by it. She's a professional. She would never have attacked. <clears throat> But she would have said, these are the issues, and these are the things that... Well, that but I don't think he wanted that lecture. Well, you know, don't you think that knowledge is, is important when it comes to somebody's health? I don't... Uh, let me put it this way. If, if, if you wanted him, if you truly wanted her to give him the message, uh, uh, we could have gotten a bunch of you together off the air, and she could have told him this. All I'm saying is, he felt uncomfortable enough about it to hang up. <coughs> Oh, okay. and, and I and I feel bad about it because I may have lost him forever. And I believe me, no. I, no, no, there was, there, no, well, there was and you know, also, no, I, I believe I, I believe that, that we may have lost him forever. Uh, and he's a very that, important that, that he's a, uh, because he's been much more aggressive. Uh, Rob has been uh, angrier. And I think some of it has to do with that diet. Well, anytime anybody goes on a diet, you're going to be a little edgier because you're, you know, you're, you're. you're He's on edge, and, and, uh, I, uh, and quite I, frankly, when I was on the hardcore diet, I was a lot grouchier just to people okay. around me. Yeah, you, yeah. Know. you know, I I am uh, going to modify uh, how I uh, interact uh, with uh, with the show, and uh, Rob will have plenty of chances to be on without me. And uh, you mean you're not going to be on the show that much anymore is what you're saying. Right. Why? Uh, because of the disrespect that you uh, you gave my friend. Uh, I went to a lot of. Wait, man, effort. you're going to you're going to you're going to you're going to stop our relationship. No, historically, Alex, you you had this ground rule or Phil has tried to do this before and you asked him not to do it. Is that true? Or false? Not to book a guest without telling me first. OK. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I said I was going to have her call in at seven forty. No, but you told me told that me you t told me that on the air. You didn't tell. Right. You didn't write me a note. You know, I read all your notes when you send them. All right. You know. Well, so moving forward, if anybody wants to invite somebody on, no, I, I we have to. You know, I, I, I you know, I. But you know, you are to me. You're very important to this show, and I've defended you no end about being on it. I appreciate it. that. You know, and. Uh, if you don't want to be on it, well, I, there's nothing I can stop you from not being on it. But uh, I can't just see that my worth is is not is not enough to just be courteous to the people that I, you know. If no, you I'm not, look, that, I'm not going to be courteous to somebody I don't know that I didn't book and that we had already talked about the oh, subject, and that, now that, and, and then reflects, and then it chases it then it chases away one of our people. Uh, it reflects poorly on me. Well, how do you and, feel about uh, what you how you made Rob feel? I I didn't do anything to Rob. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's Christmas time, uh, Bree. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, I understand how you feel. I hope you understand how I feel. Uh, well, I, I apologized uh, for 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 you know if it if it bothered you, but that doesn't seem to be enough to not make you still have a hissy fit and say I'm not going to do the show anymore. Well, you know, I uh, apologize but, too. I apologize when, to you. And to your guest, Phil, tell her that uh, she can call me on Skype anytime and tell me yeah. about health things. Yeah, you know, it's it's, uh, it's sometimes I'm trying to help and add. If to you're going to take if one night, feel, if you're going to take one night of hurt feelings and throw away a, a lifetime of friendship, then go ahead. Well, I threw it away once before. And, hey, Phil, and, and I gave you, you can enough. ask your friend what do you mean, about. What do you mean you threw it away this? once before? When did you throw it away? Ask your friend, and she can. Send me a message, okay? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, in, uh, you want to know when it was? It was uh, July 25th, 1984. What did I do? Well, you told me. You want the truth? You yeah. want to talk about this sure, on the air? Sure, go ahead. All right. Uh, you, told, uh, you were supposed to come to my wedding, and you told me that uh, uh, Susan was having a hard time up at the Ross uh, thing, and, and that you couldn't go. She was freaking out. Yeah. Uh, she was in a, a thing. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the wedding, it was around five in the afternoon. I went back. I went to the hotel. I turned on Channel 20. And there you were live with Jim Gabbard. Because I already had that commitment. Yeah, I understand. But you could have told me the truth. No, I, the truth was I was having trouble with my wife. You know, know. You, know, you know what the troubles were. Yeah, I knew. And I had, to, I had to attend to that. Now, I understand. But you had a commitment, and that would have been fine. 
I would have supported that. Well, you, but you did, obviously you didn't because you took it personally. I did because I felt lied to. And, no, but uh, you weren't lied to. I went over, did the TV show. It took me about a half hour, and then I went right back to take care of her. I understand. But uh, that's that's why you ask me why yeah, that's yeah that's well why. you know if that if you is now going to uh, have another twenty year period which probably is we'll never talk to each other again because I'll be dead before but, then uh, uh, this this one didn't bother me that much and you know the the thing is uh, I felt uh, you know I, I felt you know once once burned you know it happens twice. Uh, I just felt very disrespect, and I well, uh, and I and I apologized for that, didn't I? Isn't that good enough? Yeah. It, uh, well, apparently it isn't. Apparently it isn't, Phil. Well, I appreciate your apology, but uh, it you will know, take time for it to sink in with him. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's with peace and love. I'll give you peace and love. Peace and love. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's you know. That's that's why I wrote you off in '84, and uh, that's why and I felt, and that's look, why you're writing after, me off now. No, I'm not writing you off. When I uh, then all these years later, I um, I said to myself I was holding a grudge, and grudges are no good, and so I let it go, and uh, you know, and hey, I got divorced from her anyway, so uh, yeah. you know. So, you know, I just realized that it wasn't, uh, you know, it, it wasn't the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, this in this case, I, I, I was I was embarrassed. Yeah, and, but this and is I, but this I, is. Well, Phil, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But, my goodness. I, you know, when, Alex did what he like did. This. He apologized. You know, no, it was, no, let's... It's not the point. The point is <laughs> you have enough respect for me, uh, you know, yelling at me on the show about Republican shit. I could give a shit about the Republicans, you know? Yeah, I, I'm a registered Republican, but I don't really give a shit what they do. I'm sorry. Look, Phil, Phil, Phil let me put it this way, okay? Yeah. You got yourself into this position by asking her to call, okay? And if I uh, didn't want to take the call and I wanted to get rid of her, that's my call on my show, okay? I never would have done How does that, that embarrass you? Yeah, Phil, you should have your own show. How does that embarrass you? Hey, eat his own how do, show. How does that embarrass you? you should, there's plenty of space uh, on GabNet. Well, uh, well uh, look, because I tell you how it embarrassed me. She's a friend of mine. She's a professional colleague that I deal with. And I asked her a favor. And uh, she... And she uh, well, when you talk to her, apologize to her for me, but that I didn't want to talk about it because Rob was no longer there. Okay? Uh, I'll do that. Okay, so how does that stand with your relationship with this show? I appreciate your apology, but uh, you know I, I don't know if I have much value uh, to uh, to this. I think you do, Phil. Well, we're not. Uh, uh, you know, I, I I'm, 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 not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to beg you to stick around if you don't want to. But uh, I'm not. It's only because it, I'm embarrassed. Know. I mean, I was embarrassed by uh, what you did. I consider you a friend, and I and I would never do that to a friend. What I? How much do I have to apologize, Phil? Why don't you be nice enough to accept the apology and say, "Let I, bygones be bygones" on this deal? But, can but you can't do that. You can't do that because you're so wah wah hurt. Yeah. You know. I mean, come All right, on. Let's change the subject. No, no. I we haven't got time to change the subject. Is it going off the air? Seven soon? minutes. So it's going to be a fill-free night every night from now on. No, oh, I, I just f feel that maybe uh, uh, you know it's it's time for me to do a little bit of uh, you know relax it a little. Well, we're all getting a break. Yeah. Well, you know this this so won't uh, it, this probably just, this probably make a suggestion? this no, show probably after 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 the Christmas break I probably will not be back. Okay. Why not? Because, I, hey, because my, my opinion. Because I'm 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 tired of doing this show, okay. Yeah. I'm just tired of it, and I'm tired of little dramas like this. You know. Hey, and, I'm not the one that created the drama. Uh, all I did was say, hey, look, I I felt okay. disrespected. I had the courtesy of sending you a note, and uh, and letting you know, hey, this is not for me. Well, I I expect. Uh, I, I just won't count on you calling then from here on in. You know? All right. I mean, if that's the way you want to be about it, you know. Well, you know, I had given you uh, a, you know, I, I told enough, you that. Enough. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah, you're right. 
What? Phil. Hey, Phil. Phil, what if, what if you Phil, just went I... to this gal and told her, you know what, I kind of screwed up by bringing, him onto the sh- bringing you onto the show, sorry uh-huh. it happened, and then you guys work it out that way and then just come back on the show like I... you always have, because I, I like your, your I... part of the show. Willie has so much class, and she's such a nice person. I just uh, was was hurt that that you know that that happened. Well, and, I'm, you know what I'm hurt by, Phil. I'm hurt by the, I'm hurt by the, the fact. Too, I, so. I, I was at the moment hurt by the fact that Rob hung up. Okay, yeah. and that I have I a long-standing that. professional relationship with this person, and I care about him, and I think the world of him, and the fact that maybe he was so mad tonight he will never call the show again bothers me. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, don't uh, you also, don't you don't know, Bree. But it could happen, and that's the way I felt about it, you know. All uh, right. And 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 uh, and and so I was bothered by that. And when he hung up, I saw no reason to continue the conversation. All right. Uh, you know, could have. I understand. Not a problem. Yeah. So Phil, why did you do it in the first place? Um, the yesterday. Uh, Alex had said when he was talking about the diet that uh, Rob was on, uh, uh, you know, does any had anybody ever heard of this? And if they had, you know, send hearts or, or whatever over the uh, over the thing. And uh, so I, I looked it up and I saw that it said that there was a number of side effects. So I wrote and called my nutritionist and I asked her if she'd ever heard of this. Uh, diet and what the story was and when she told me that uh, of all the issues with estrogen and and uh, uh, what it can all do right. with well, cancer in case, in, liver, in case you became is it safe to say you were concerned for Rob oh very concerned and uh, so right. I wanted your heart was in the right place but you just didn't it just right. didn't unfold she, the best she way. has a ton of expertise she's a brilliant person and uh, so I was doing. Yeah, my I don't know that though, Phil. That's the problem. You I don't know that. Trusted me enough. Well, to... I don't know that. Okay. Well, and quite frankly, when anybody comes on this show and gives out medical information, I want to know their their history. Oh, well, she would have given it to you if you would have. No, I don't have time for that. All I'm saying is, if we had talked about it beforehand, I could have made a determination. All right. Well, you know, we had time to to have this drama. <laughs> well, I mean, I have nothing else to do, you know, and yeah. who knows if I'm going to do a show tomorrow night. I mean, this may be the last show I ever do. All right. Is just, anybody yeah. going to ride Amtrak ever again? <laughs> there's a good question. Yeah. Hey, um, there's a discount on 14 train cars uh, in Washington. Yeah. But uh, no, nah, you know, uh, it's uh, you've gone through this before. You've had other people that. Uh, uh, for one reason or another, uh, pulled back. Uh, J- uh, not Jason. Uh, the, the guy. Can you believe that look. Trump says climate change is off of the list? Yes. Well, I Phil, cannot believe well, that. Well, Phil, if I never you talk, know, if I never talk to you again, it's been nice knowing you. Well, look, I'm there I'm not I'm not going to vanish. I'm just letting you. Hey, if I didn't care, I wouldn't tell you that. Uh, I felt bad and I was embarrassed, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but I did care, and that's why I told you. Yeah. Well, it's up. It's up to you. But there may not be a show here for you to call, so it doesn't matter. I no, didn't but... know that you could get embarrassed at all. <laughs> well, <laughs> not for Republicans. <laughs> well, that's it. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, uh, Bree. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Mike. Uh, wave goodbye. Whatever we do. And I'll uh, I'll uh, see some of you again tomorrow, maybe, you know. Uh, in the meantime, have a nice night. Okay, uh, let me see here. Wait a minute, I gotta get my picture on here. There we go. Just keep waving till I get my picture on. There we go. All right. Bye bye, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm sorry, folks, but I'm just I'm just perturbed by all of this. I'm perturbed by the fact that Phil is upset. And I'm perturbed by the fact that Rob is upset, and uh, I just, you know, I just don't know why I, why I even do this thing in the first place. So, we'll, we'll uh, see what happens. Maybe I'll be here tomorrow night. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be here tomorrow night and Friday night, and then maybe after Christmas uh, holiday, uh, somebody else will be here. Anyway, that's it. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, stay tuned for. Uh, Jack Bishop and uh, uh, 
Amy Manuel on the intersection, and then at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Day Standard Time, it's the, uh, the Connections Program. I'm Alex Ben. I'll see you tomorrow, uh, hopefully, uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye.